The tune you just listened to was a remake of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal by Grammy-nominated electronic music producer, pianist, and performer, Haywire. His channel will be linked in the description of our YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast channels, wherever you can find the Lost in Thought podcast. I highly re- recommend that you check out his channel. He does phenomenal work and makes uh, make sure to go show him some love. Again, his name is Haywire. That is H-A-Y-W-Y-R-E. He's currently on tour and will li- be live April 2nd at the Mission Ballroom in Denver, Colorado. With that being said, that was an awful throw. We're already off to a hard start. Nailed but, it. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Now you can't see the guitar. I know. Let me just... Yeah. See, that's that's what I was trying to do. So Now you're littered. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first ever Lost in Thought podcast. Can we get a round of, yeah, round of applause for us? You know, to be honest, I We're didn't think famous. we'd ever make it. For real. After, Honestly. <laughs> after months... Of preparation and procrastination. Joking. Joking. And buying these microphones. And just all that jazz. We're finally here. You know, like, honestly, Brian, I didn't even think you could tie your shoes. So the fact For that real. we're able to it's organize kind of this, this podcast. The fact is- we're hosting it at Brian's house and he's actually made it to the recording is pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm... I'm My shoes don't if, even have ties. <laughs> exactly, because that's why they're, I thought you didn't know how to tie your shoes. They're literally slip-ons. I don't because tie shoes. You, I, you I always have t- slip-ons or your shoes are already pre-tied and you just slip them on that way. It's one of those it's, two it's options. It's a miracle we've made it this far. You're no, the second right. largest child in the world behind Deuce Tatum. <laughs> I, I, I definitely agree with that. That kid's massive. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and get started with kind of just how this all started. You know, it's all honestly, like we, we were saying, it's a shock that we're here. But kind of the story behind us creating this podcast is kind of just spontaneous, pretty much like all of our personalities, to be completely honest. Just yeah. out of the blue, out of the random. You know, we were just, Brian and I, I forget what the occasion was. There probably wasn't an occasion at all. But we were just chilling eating. at the mall. I say we were just eating. Could right. have been Black Friday or something. That I, literally I, could have been any weekend in the past fair. however many years. It's very, very true. I don't remember the specifics behind it, but I do remember our conversation. And I do remember we were having Chick-fil-A, so. Nice. That's always God's a monumental, mo- I <laughs> monumental moment. It. Is when you get the filet, man. So... We were sitting there, eating our, just, you know, or at least I was eating the spicy chicken sandwich. I, I probably got, had the nuggets. You definitely had nuggets or tendies. You are a child. <laughs> that pretty much, yes, <laughs> solidifies your uh, Don't act man-child like you status. Have got the exact same thing. No, I got nuggets today, <laughs> okay. but you didn't have to admit it. <laughs> yeah. So another fun fact uh, for those who are listening. By the way, we kind of got carried away right at the start. Oh, yeah. So for those... <laughs> we got a little lost. We got a, we got a little thought. lost in thought. Thank you, Jeff. That was, that was a perfect segue. But um, for those who are listening and uh, are not watching either on YouTube, and I don't know if we can... Uh, Apple Podcasts, is it just audio? It's just audio. Just regardless... In front if of me, you're tuning in. I have our audio uh, and technician engineer, Jeffrey Mayfield. Ooh. Hey, that's to you, my Jeff. It's yep, me. Yep. Everyone, a round of applause for Jeff. It's only us. It's a li- Where's there? Yeah, Holy true. For real. To my left is, I, I don't really have a, the, the guy that's here, it's to Brian the right. Lawyer. Yeah, we don't really have a title for you. Yeah, honestly, what do you do, Brian? It's a good Can, question. What? Yeah, you're just he's just kind of here. So the guy that's here, Brian Lawyer, everyone, round of applause Ooh, for him. I'm just here to talk, and I provided the space. Oh yeah, that's true. This that is, is his valuable. house. So. That's very valuable. Yeah. So, but okay. Sorry. Yeah, we got we. <laughs> that's Nate. And and then of course himself. your host, Nate Tippery. Another Ooh. round of applause. And maybe eventually Eric will be here. And then, of course, our faraway brethren, all the way in the great state of Illinois, Eric Ooh, Wade. Uh, if he can ever free up his end. schedule, he may uh, show up. But that's highly, you know, highly we know we don't really know. We don't know, yeah, when he'll show up. But he's a special guest that's also a host. <laughs> yeah, he's a special guest that also is actively a member of this group that just recently saw all the uh, all the work that we put into it and. 
actually it was like just, last night, right? You know, yeah. that was the first time we it talked was a struggle to, to get that man to sign up for, for a Gmail, Gmail account. account. Like, I don't understand what like three the difficulty weeks. is to <laughs> just literally go on. He the didn't Google. even do it. And he, he still didn't do it. He provided, and then it failed. I got an email today <laughs> oh, no. saying that because we were sharing. So the story behind this was I was trying to sh- share our Google Docs, which has kind of like our itinerary, like our ideas, everything that we want to talk about in the podcast. I was wanting to share that with Eric so he can get, you know, so he can proofread whatever, you know, just get a look at it. And this man, first off, like I said, would not create a Gmail account to make this more convenient using a Google product, mind you. So Gmail, it, just, it would just, it, it's super easy, right? Just signing up for an email. It's, it's just an easy thing to do. It takes free. five minutes it and it's free, free right? This man's like, no, I already have a school email. Why don't you just send, why don't I just send that to you? And he was telling me like, oh, this is a Google affiliated campus. Like, you know, Did it's yeah, linked to I a Gmail. Sure to ask that question. Yeah, we made sure to ask that question. And what is this? So he sends me the email, right? What happens? The first thing that pops up on my screen, this is not a Google affiliated account. <laughs> Would you like to make this request to share this document? And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> And as I, as soon as I'm about to ask him or basically make fun of him is what I was going to do. I was going right. to be a little bit politically correct about that, but no, I was going to make fun of him. He's like, no, got to go by. Yeah, that's true. Dipped he down. did get off very quick. And dipped. And then, you know. But eventually. I, I, I thought it, it still sent. Here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I thought it sent the email to him with the docs, but I just got an email early this morning saying they failed. And if he's not physically failed, so. here, hopefully we'll get him to phone in. That's true. So. I think we might be able to in, I don't know, two, three years, be able to figure out how to get yeah, a phone we'll, call on here. <laughs> might take a while. <laughs> we'll, we'll get him in eventually. All guests are going to have to be on site because we don't know how to work it good enough to get a phone call on here. <laughs> Hello, please share Nate's mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, they can sit on my lap. You no, know. we have a fourth <laughs> mic, right? We just don't have a place to plug it in. Or a stand. Or, yeah. Yeah. Not to so, hold it. This is a work in progress, people. <laughs> um, I promise you this will get better and better as time goes on, as we learn and grow. Uh, you know, obviously, we've already been, like we suggested, we're like kind of lost in thought. So now that introductions are out of the way, let's go back to the origin story of this podcast. So we're, we're, so we're talking in the mall, eating, eating our Chick-fil-A. Chicken. It looks like we're up, y- you know. You were up to the buying the equipment. So, 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 yeah. so anyways, um, we're actually, we're not even that far. We still have, we still have so much more to talk oh about, about this story. We got plenty to talk about. Oh, we have so much to talk about. <laughs> Jeff, why are you shaking your head, man? I'm not shaking my head. Okay. Do you just lie on? I, I, <laughs> Jeff, recording? I just saw you shake your head. And... <laughs> it's well, on. I'm going to edit it out. <laughs> Dude, you look like a liar. <laughs> okay. The audio well, recording, they'll have no idea. They'll have no idea. Other than the fact that I said it. So, that, I mean, no proof there. But anyways, we were just sitting there eating our Chick-fil-A. And I was just like, you know what? Why don't we just start a podcast? You know, because we were, we were going on bantering about having a good conversation. And I, we were talking. So, we have this group chat on Snapchat uh, called the Soggy Bottom Boys. Yeah. For those uh, who are not in the loop. You know, little soggy. Which anyone wouldn't. but the four of us or you know are the only ones that actually probably i don't know who else knows regardless got the soggy <laughs> soggy with it so we were talking in that chat with people and it, I, I just thought it would be a great idea to just sit down and record kind of like just our thoughts and our conversations just for the the world to see i guess i don't i, I just thought this would be a good way to make something that you know uh something that we find entertaining something that we enjoy and make it productive and kind of just share it with the world. So we I don't may know, be the gonna... only four people that listen to it. Yeah, and, that's true. But, uh, I could yeah. listen to this again. So <laughs> yeah, it very well may be our moms and us are yeah, the only really? people that actually hi, listen mom. to this. It, yeah, hi mom. By the way, you think my mom is gonna listen to this? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I hope she's so. gonna love this. She was my that's favorite true. band teacher. She might favorite, watch it. Favorite band teacher. That's true. I agree. <laughs> So, I only had one band. Yeah, we, we only had one band. Teacher, but, she was a good one, but though. it was. St- so let's just go, let's go ahead and stop talking about Jeff's mom for a second. <laughs> On and to actually, Angela Tipper. <laughs> okay, please, <laughs> please no. But yeah, it's just we wanted a way to capture kind of the conversations that we were having, 
on display for whoever whoever may be listening whoever wants to listen so it's dangerous sometimes <laughs> but basically i mean after we just kind of sat there and pondered some names you know we talked about a couple you know all the shapes of a table could possibly be so start um, off with the round yeah. table square table and then the penta what, table then what was it the hexa table the octet you know we just kept going on and on and then we finally decided you know this is dumb that we keep adding sides to our table <laughs> So we, got a so we just went ahead table. and just kind of <laughs> so scrapped, <we> got... <laughs> scrapped that idea. It's very difficult to find, you know, an octa table. Just, just to be real, there that weren't be... very many. But we had, we had this great idea, like, oh, we could just sit, you know, because you know, round table, like we were gonna uh, what were we, knights we, of the round knights table. of the round table, like that was already taken. Knights of the circle. I think, uh, and so there was all these names were already taken, and then so we just butchered that idea, but eventually. You know, after, honestly, it didn't, after we finally, we finally moved away from, from our fixated <laughs> thoughts on adding more true. sides. Like I was saying, we finally just sat down. This was the I, first, I said, I think this was the, this was the, we, we, we thought about putting Soggy Bottom Boys, but yeah. let's Lost be real, that just kind of sounds a little. It was literally the first one on the list of like four. Yeah. And so I, I, and I had like, a list. We were like, Hey, that one sounds pretty good. And, so, Lit. and, and then Lit. of course, after the fact, we found out that the abbreviations for lost in thought is lit so this is the also known as the lit podcast so i thought that was it's pretty, pretty lit it just the material writes itself ladies and gentlemen it actually does so yeah. we're acting like any of this is written right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> well i mean the, the first the, sentence the, is the title the t- title <laughs> yeah for real but going from there right we uh we kind of you know we're just like hey let's just do it and so I'd say about a month when I, I probably about a month, a month and a half or whatever, where we Is just Black sat. Friday when we bought the mics. No, mm, I don't no. think so. No. no, it would have been sometime in January. I can remember um, something like that. Yeah. Something around that I think time. Nate's got it right. So, but eventually after like a month and a half of kind of joking about it, really, we're like, Hey, let's just put our money where our mouth is and just full sin. Just get, completely commit to this idea so kind of like i said this was spontaneous too uh i was just hanging out with brian right i was we were just yeah, hanging we out we weren't planning on going we weren't planning on doing anything and nice. we're just like we call up jeff and we're like hey because he was working so it was jeff and brian work at this uh place called melody music not a sponsor by the way but you know if they could uh hook us up that would be pretty cool where music is your melody <laughs> but it's but, not uh, an actual slogan is it <laughs> yeah, it's one. absolutely not <laughs> you guys have a slogan no no oh, well now we do unless you count game. llc llc <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> but so the basically a uh, um instrument music distribution so like any it could talk anything you music related they pretty much have right don't you and, dare say guitar center <laughs> no i was a guy i was just say, i was just naming <laughs> instruments jeff and guitar happened to be the first i mean there's guitars literally hanging from the ceiling so that was That's just the true. first thing i thought of but but they both work there and so jeff was working at the time and we're just like hey jeff do we got any mics that we can get on sale discounted stands anything like that and he's like yeah and so we got just, four so we we, we went and down there, stand. checked Eric out. Eric has to buy his own stand. <laughs> yeah, Eric, true. yeah, Eric still owes us, by the way. So just on the record, he owes <laughs> me, so. just so everybody's just aware, so, so everybody's aware, <laughs> including the audience, that Eric uh, <laughs> needs to Venmo us. <laughs> so Eric, you'll be seeing that request uh, shortly after the podcast is done. But as soon uh, as we got there, checked out all the mics, all the equipment, boom, set it all up. Jeff got his uh, got his Mac. We got some uh, recording software, got some audio mixing software, and pretty much just did a test run, brainstorm session, which we may or may not upload in the future. That might be a, a special. We might let you know kind of like how we we test tested all all the audio. Uh, just kind of went through and pondered. Full what, run through of all the stuff we might talk about all stuff we might talk about which we'll pretty we'll, we'll, we'll reiterate some of that stuff here today um but 
yeah, like pretty much we, we did all that. That was a sequence of events that led us to where we are right now. So that's kind of, I mean, if you were expecting a, a grand story about how, you know, we were... No, mostly just started as a joke. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 and then it happened. You should be very disappointed if you I wanted know. a good story. If you wanted <laughs> yeah. a good story about how, you know, some tragic event happened and we, decided we were to start inspired. A podcast. We were, you know, bankrupt, homeless, and we decided to start a podcast to try to earn some extra cash. You know, we scrounged up all this money to barely, you know, barely buy the equipment that we have. No, no, no. This that is didn't entirely the wrong podcast this for is, you. This, this is, this is this what you wanted. <laughs> no, we, 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 we're just... Uh, this is a joke. <laughs> this is, this is, act, you know what? It, you're right, Jeff. This is, this all started as a joke. Uh, we're not ones to take ourselves very seriously, <laughs> but that doesn't mean we're not going to take this podcast yeah. seriously. So well put. So Nailed thank you. It. Thank you. Um, I think we're fully invested. The fact that I sat down and typed a, what, 500 to a thousand word document. Yeah, it was pretty big. Yeah. To, to start this off in the span of what, two to three hours. I've I never typed anything so quick. <laughs> so quickly uh, nah, in my that's life. That's crazy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I read the whole thing, but I I I just think yeah I'm 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 invested personally. I think you guys are invested as well, and so hopefully that shows in our work. And um, I'm excited. I really am. I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it's gonna Jeff, be yeah, as fun. you could hear. Jeff is pretty excited. Jeff is very excited. It's true. <laughs> okay. What do we got? So. One thing that we discussed in our brainstorm session, we kind of try to narrow what we wanted to our talk focus. About. We got it to three into the right? categories. Or we it to two? <laughs> well, we we got it kind of into three did right now. It, did we get it all the way to two yet? Uh, we probably need to narrow it even more. But if hey, if everyone likes what we talk about and we keep our horizons uh, broadened, is that, is that how you phrase that? Or we I keep don't know. broad horizons. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, if <laughs> If we if we branch out into multiple different, I say topics, we could branch. If people want us to talk about other stuff, then I mean we'll be open to talk about other stuff. Yeah, they well, need we, to understand right now. We will talk about anything. Yeah, yeah. We can definitely talk about anything. So just to give you some little context on that uh, ideal and to, and put that into perspective, when we were doing the brainstorm session, we were going through each one of the topics that we may or may not talk about, right? Yeah. And we got on a side tangent about Cole, how it was about awful the U.S. Treasury system is by <laughs> we including change. change. We so talked about change we for talked like 15 about, minutes. Yeah, how change probably should go by the wayside. If you're still <laughs> listening right now, then you have listened for about how long we talked about change. change. Yeah, That's, so real. we talked a long time about that. Which was not in our notes at all. Which, <laughs> yeah. So um, we're not going to go on that tangent again here. Dang it. But, Dang. I like the change. But just to tangent. put things into perspective, we definitely aren't people to go by a schedule or a itinerary. We may write one. We'll write something up about. We'll write something up. What we want to talk, talk about, about and, and then we might get to it. And we'll get to it eventually, probably. But just expect every once. We in might a while get to, to six to other things up. before we get to it. Yeah. But what we'll people get to don't it. understand is to get rid of change. You need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold please, on. Chef. Hold on. <laughs> to get rid of change, you need to embrace change. You completely. Do you, would you go? go actually, you, just you know what, Jeff? Changes? No, no. You just switch. <laughs> no, Jeff. Why don't you go ahead and elaborate? You All right. switch type. People want to stay with change because of tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Those people need to change. Thank you, Jeff. I just wanted you. Are we still talking about? I money? just wanted you to hit the punchline again. Uh, you yes. know, it was just, just so wanna... good. I had to hear it twice. So you yeah. hit your double. Had to hit your change joke. Gonna hit yeah, your change no. joke. So That's we... your quota. No more change. Jokes. Oh, don't even get me started on daylight I'm just savings. Just gonna mute my channel. Oh, no. <laughs> but but that's been resolved. Thank you. Yeah, daylight savings permanent. Unanimous vote in the Senate, and as it it hasn't done anything. Has else it gone yet? through the House yet? No. Okay. Well, this government is incredible. So. Thank you, Biden administration, for uh, just for, so for we're saving. Clear, Biden is not 
a sponsor yet yeah, of yeah. this podcast. <laughs> Maybe somebody know. will be one day. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just want to make that very clear. Don't even know. That was a non well, So, so here's the thing. I, uh, we I won't accept I any sponsors. I, I, we don't I, care. That's true. <laughs> it does not matter who it is. We don't want to thank him quite yet because it still hasn't hit it's his true. desk. If, if he hits vetoes his desk it, and then it he might vetoes be... it, yeah. we take to the streets. Which, yeah. <laughs> we take to the streets. <laughs> on South Sanders Main Street. <laughs> we will oh, change I live. <laughs> oh my goodness, forgot to cut that out. Anyways. <laughs> it's already on our business listing. You're right. You're yeah. right. Okay. Come visit. Uh, so. I'll be here. We're, we're going to get off change and do, let's get off <laughs> politics now. Goodness gracious. And talk about the True. actual topics. <laughs> these are neither one of our actual topics that made the list. Yeah. These didn't made the list. But. Okay. So let me emphasize the fact that this is about just our conversations, right? That is the, that is the overarching topic and kind of the. It, it, this is how I kind of want, this is what we want to provide to you guys. And so following like a checklist is not something that we really want to do, no. but no. the stuff that we're going to talk about, um, coming up is the things that we just generally talk about anyways. So, um, the first, the first article on that list though, that, w- that we, that I typed up is sports. So all of us, here and also eric who's not here across the border who's there by border in the illinois <laughs> indiana illinois border we all love sports and so we're constantly talking about sports um in our group chat in person wherever it's just something that we all uh grew up with um starting all the way back in t-ball hey. at least brian and i dangers yeah we're, bombs. we're we're hitting bombs off the tee. Zero Kit career Murphy style, home runs, baby. All the way back. I hit one foul. I hit one foul. But then I flew out. <laughs> oh my goodness! Shift. Real story. I hit one that hit the top of the fence, hit the little like ring on the top, and bounced back in. I did one in practice that hit the top of the fence and then went over. However, it wasn't like actually playing; like it just happened. I was playing for um, our our team. A little league team was VFW, red colors. Yeah, I was. And I was hit I a bomb against Sub Chuckles Subway. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll classic. never forget that fifth grade. I remember somebody corking their bat in Babe Ruth, and I was in. I don't even know why, but I was in left field, and whenever I say that that thing was gone, the second he hit it, I'm talking about. So, like, through junior high, like, I was always the center fielder, right? For some reason in Babe Ruth, I wasn't. I Maybe I showed up late or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. For some reason, I'm in left field. Oh, that's why. We had a slow pitcher that day. And so, you know, everybody's going to be early on it. So, they won me in left field, which makes sense. And, I mean, this man, I didn't even move. Gone. I stood there. Rocket. And, I mean, I, I couldn't even see. It went that far into the cornfield. <laughs> so for those of you listening that are not f- familiar with with baseball if you have a slower pitcher right and it's you're a right-handed both, batter yeah. which a majority of baseball players are right-handed batters then uh with a slower pitcher you tend early. to be early so that means you'll 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 send it to left field more often so typically you want your better uh Unless Outfielder. they're very good, and they know unless they're, they're very good, and then they can wait and they'll, send it off. They'll put it wherever they they'll want. Put it wherever it. they want it. So, so yeah, but yeah. That's where I mean. That's where it started. We started. I mean, at least for me and you, we played t-ball since we were kids. So yeah, I. So I played baseball and basketball. I played football all the way up until junior high. Quit. Yeah. But I played baseball and basketball, which are pretty pretty much my two loves, and. Um, the two sports that I was, what was I was better at those than I was at football. So, um, just throughout all the way up and through my high school career. So, and I enjoyed every every moment of it. So I played basketball with you growing up in football. Mm-hmm. You were my center. You missed one game. I probably have the most the record for most fumbled snaps in a single game. The day that you missed, was not ready for that. I was a great center. Nice. <clears throat> I was not ready for the, the change league, of center. I blew out my knees. You blew out your knees. Would have made That's it. That's not true. But no, I, I say I played 
played football through elementary, didn't play after that, broke my arm, and I'm like, yep, that's not for me anymore. I still love football, though. It's probably my favorite sport to watch. That, that's that's another point that I, that I yeah. want to make. So I love playing baseball and basketball. I, I absolutely love playing it. But in terms of, per, like, even professional and collegiately, I love watching football more than I want, yeah. like watching the other two sports. Are we on the greens? I think that's probably. I'm not. Jeff is a basketball guy. Yeah. I am okay. all basketball all the time um, and tennis, playing and watching. Um, but that's only uh, just because of myself, you know, during high school days, like I wanted to get better. So I would just watch tennis 24-7. So, like, I'm just used to it. I get why people get bored watching tennis. But... I mean, I'll, watch, yeah. some, I'll watch some golf, and I'll be... That, I understand why people don't watch it, but yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. I'll watch golf when Tiger is doing well. That's fair. Like, uh, the last time he won the Masters... That I was not, incredible. I couldn't tell you when the last time I watched golf was, but I skipped... So, so when when he, or what year was it? Was it twenty nineteen? I don't remember. Masters. We'll we'll have to look that up. But I was in college at the time, and I actually skipped classes to watch Tiger Woods compete in the Masters. I remember watching it in high school. Or no? Oh my goodness, that wasn't high school. Never mind. No, cut that, cut that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut that out. Um, <laughs> we will not cut that out. But you've got you played yourself. Definitely like, not being cut out. Well, Talk about a man who transformed a sport. Yeah. Yeah. Completely put it on the list when I mean who who were the other big name? They Gun- weren't Phil. That's it. Phil, yeah, at that time. And then Tiger came along and just completely changed the sport. Really Phil and Tiger came about the same time. And it seems like no matter what Tiger does, I'm always rooting for him. That's true. I, he just ha- I, I don't know why either. Like I don't know if it's because how the media covers him. Or if just just kind of his style. I, I, I don't know what it is. I personally think it's his poise on the course. The man is a literal tiger. Like, yeah. I mean, like... He prowls I mean, like he, a tiger across he's the even, golf course. He's even talked about how, like, he gives himself, like, three to five seconds to just be absolutely, you know, just hate himself. And then it's just completely gone. Yeah. It, it, and like he's already back. He's back. He's like ready focused, to go. Yeah. If you played golf like me and Jeff did for years, that is borderline <laughs> impossible. Yeah. That's so difficult to not let one bad shot turn into a million bad shots. You put one in a pond and it's like, all right, this club's going with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can see that. I can see that where one bad shot just, you know, snowballs into multiple and then your morale's done and then you're just done for the day it's like yeah. a missed layup on the fast break that that's the feeling you get whenever you just absolutely chunk a shot yeah hmm. but, you blow but, the wide open layup and you're just like all right time to retire yeah <laughs> but yeah with with tiger though the only time we would probably talk golf is if he's doing something incredible. That's true. Maybe the Masters or something if it's good. Yeah, hopefully. I, I want to see him back. You know, he just he's coming back from a traumatic injury. Um, he was definitely doing something he shouldn't have been doing while behind the wheel. Not not speeding is what he was doing. I don't think he was. No, he didn't he get a DUI. No, right? he was. He wasn't under the influence of anything. Else. He was just making a bad decision behind the wheel. Hurt himself. Had to get surgery and. Even after he made, an, you know, after that poor decision, I'm still rooting for him. <laughs> rooting for yeah. him. I mean, it's not back. even, it's not even a borderline miracle that he's able to walk today. I mean, oh, it is yeah. a full miracle. It is. So yeah. just, just even if you know the most he ever gets back is that uh, tournament he just played with his son. That, that was, was incredible to that, watch. That, that right there it was more than enough. Then yeah. they almost we won the whole need, thing. Really, too. yeah. But yeah, that'll probably be the only time we ever talk about golf. So yeah, don't don't <laughs> yeah, get used to most that. Most likely, I say if we, I, I would imagine that it'll be sports wise. We will stick to football and basketball, and maybe baseball if something cool is happening. We we might yep. we might dab in baseball, um, especially when uh, postseason in the world. In this show, yeah, postseason no. probably postseason postseason baseball is um, wild. We'll definitely definitely cover some stuff there for sure, 
But I would say football will be our main focus. Football um, reigns supreme all the time. So we'll definitely... No. Jeff, your opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only because I always wanted to play football and I didn't feel accepted. <laughs> Jeff, it's okay. We're here for you. I don't want to talk about it. So the teams. So let's talk about kind of our... So sticking with football, uh, we're all... Uh, homegrown Southern Indiana boys. <laughs> boys. I don't know where I was going with that, but we're, <laughs> we're all Colts fans. That's we're, where we're you all were Colts going fans. It's basically <laughs> bottom what, line. We're all except Colts for fans. Eric. Except Eric, who is. Whoa, whoa, from, whoa. I am a Tampa Bay. No, please, no, you're no. Not a fan for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get caught saying Tom Brady's name down these parts, <laughs> that's true. Oh boy. <laughs> Tampa no, Tom is not near as bad as. New England Tom was. That's true. Yeah. And then there's the people that actually live here and we're like, yeah, I'm a New England fan. It's like, no, you are no, Yeah, okay. <laughs> but no, no hate to Tom Brady here, personally. I mean, he's, he's the GOAT. He's, he's the GOAT I definitively. Hate it, but he is. Yeah. I, it's also much more acceptable now to feel true. that after he's left the Patriots. I feel much better about yeah, it now. I, I definitely feel much better about that now. And I mean, I can't really fight it anymore. The man's won. I, I, I mean, I'm shocked that he doesn't have a Super Bowl ring for each one of his fingers, which... He almost does. You know, it's by the close. time he's 50, he might have he that. Just, hey, he just hasn't retired. He might by the time he's done. <laughs> so he saw his family once and decided to go back. He's <laughs> like, we can't do this anymore. But, you know, if I saw Giselle, I don't think, I, I don't think I'd have the same... Same reaction. Is that just me? Or? Why is that, Nate? <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah, we're all Colts fans. Um, right now, Jeff is currently enrolled at the great University of Indiana. Are you, baby? That's true. Which, yeah, you typically said that the other direction, or other way around. So UI, baby. <laughs> UI. But um, I don't know what I was thinking, but IU. So, we'll probably talk uh, oh, IU baby, sports. Oh, IU football, LEO. That's so, true. Tom Allen all the way. <laughs> Ride well, or die. We're only honestly, going up. Mainly honestly, because we can't go down. That's at, true. At the collegiate level, I prefer basketball over football, but professionally, that's fair. I'm more into um, more into football than I am basketball. I would love college basketball if it wasn't officiated in the style that it's officiated. Yeah. That is some of the worst reffing. I mean, the NBA is bad, and then it's like, oh my goodness, this is. And it's on not just even that the refs level. are bad. Either like either place, like there's some missed calls and people are bad. It's just the whole college basketball rule set. Right. I yeah. despise with everything in me. Yeah, the I rules agree. are pretty screwed up. I think, yeah, it, it, it should be. And I be... understand a lot of it's tradition, and a lot of people will stand yeah. by that, and I get that. The problem is that there's a shot clock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> shot clock, good. You don't know basketball. You don't know about ba- yeah. I'd say, I mean, even in, like, there's the talks about taking it to high school. And, like, I think the shot clock is a good thing. I agree. I just think that in high school, don't, you know, it probably shouldn't be 30 to 24. Right. Yeah. Maybe 45 for sure. or so. Yeah, However, 35 to 45. You'd have to, you'd have to do mess not around do that with that. Do that 2K, though. It's toxic. <laughs> well, we'll get the 2K here in a second, Jeff. All right, good. <laughs> But, but yeah, I say football, basketball, college, and I mean we're into a lot of it. IU, Nate, you went to IUPUI, so yeah. you have you have some Purdue in you. So yeah, I went to uh, yeah, I graduated from IUPUI up in Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, I got my degree from Purdue. So I I follow typically Purdue at the college level. Um, so. So, uh, are you Purdue football too, or is it IU football, Purdue basketball, or does it not matter? It is. Uh, I'm typically following Purdue. Um, like I said, I don't really follow college football, football or basketball that much. College basketball only matters in March. That's and true. That's I agree with that, and that's what I was. That was going to be my next point. I usually Rip watch Kentucky. college basketball. Rip IU. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so, Rip at the time of this recording. Uh, March Madness is in full swing. Did Chattanooga win? Does anyone know? They were up twelve at halftime. Brian, we're uh-huh. I've been we're doing this podcast, so we I'm are. But Brian, could you pay attention, please? Yeah. I got distracted. I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> no, 
I just want to know if Chattanooga won. But Chattanooga's yeah. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious, Jim. <laughs> That's staying in. It's okay. We're going to have to uncheck the uh, children or <laughs> child friendly ch- box. Family. What was it? <laughs> On uh, YouTube. So. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Yeah, you've ruined you made, it. You, you, I you've... couldn't help that one. You walked right into it. <laughs> you were kind of asking for it, Brian. Oh, no. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, where were we? Um, I mean, football we'll probably do a lot with. Both. I mean, college, collegiately we might not do much unless IU is not terrible. And then we might talk about some. Uh, professionally, I mean, we'll probably talk about it all. Because there's almost always something going on in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. I mean, free agency, draft time is in a month. That'll hey, run hey. you towards the training camps, regular seasons. Then you're into the se- Once you get in the season, you got weekly. We could do like weekly picks and stuff, maybe. In terms of like, many people may not agree with how the NFL is ran, but in terms of their interaction with the fans, their marketing, how it's they, top tier. yeah, how they handle, like you know, you can, you can go to the you can go to the combine and yeah. watch them perform They're, and do their drills and do uh, all the um, uh, like the weightlifting, the uh, forty meter dash, all of that stuff, and you could just go in for for free, right? It's free. Yeah, Brian's been free. a couple of times. I go, I've been free. every year except for this year. Yeah, and it's very good. You can you can watch them do that. You can. It is you know. definitely something for football fans, though, because I, if you're just going, like, if you're going with somebody that's a big football fan, you probably won't enjoy it. But, but my because point, it is purely football through and through. But their marketing is great. Yeah, my point. And their yeah. fan experience stuff on they everything make they do you is feel very like you're good. a part of your team better than any of the organ. Uh, yeah, that I've personally affiliated with. I'm not for sure. You know, like. Well, lacrosse or soccer i don't know how they're, soccer they're supposedly fan-based. really good at I, i'm sure i'm sure for, soccer is pretty good <laughs> what's the what kind of sport is that <laughs> oh my goodness Jeff, please yeah, but, yeah can we get like a, a clip of how many times i said oh my goodness jeff because jeff really he's just <laughs> out here every single time making me grimace with the comments he makes i'm just we'll, we'll have to we'll have to find that and see so, somebody Somebody in the comments below, right? You know, that's what that's what podcast people, YouTubers, that's what they say, we'll, right? We'll give, yeah. we'll do a giveaway <laughs> at ten views um, <laughs> for the person who guesses the right amount of oh my goodnesses. <laughs> oh my we, goodness, we Jeff, don't have specifically. anything to give away, but we'll give we'll this do guitar, a giveaway. Brian's guitar. No, <laughs> I need that guitar. Nate's iPad. <laughs> that's good because I don't even have an iPad. Jokes on you. This Nate's empty car. Water bottle. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so so yeah, football. I mean, basketball, football, is basketball, the same kind of like way. I said, like we're, March Madness right now is in full swing. Uh, R.I.P. to everyone's brackets because Kentucky and Iowa yeah, really screwed everybody. It. So, but yeah, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about all of that stuff. And one thing before we move on, we got to mention Joe Burrow. I, I have that oh, listed thanks. in the itinerary. That's on the list. And I think everyone here is in. You Joe know, an avid Joe cool. Burrow fan. Joe Burrow Just, is an American hero. Joe so, uh We'll probably talk about him and uh, Joey Burr. his phenomenal outfits. Joey Burr, baby. I mean, his drip is on point. So, with that being said, moving on. So I broke our list. Oh, there we go. So these first two topics, um, the first one being sports, sports. and the next one that we're um, we're gonna. We're going to get ready to talk about um, is another uh, hobby that we partake in probably yeah. more often than we should. Hobby is probably an understatement. Hobby is <laughs> maybe for you, Part Brian. You don't do anything. Way of way of life. <laughs> um, and to, that was mean. I'm sorry. You know, that was kind of mean, honestly. But we, you know what, Jeff? We start off with the podcast, literally questioning Facts. what he did. So. That's true. We need to come up with a title for you, Brian, other than the guy that's just here. Or we could just leave it as the guy that's just here. It's a pretty nice title. <laughs> so Person. Person. <laughs> and, and to my left is person, Brian Lear. Yeah. Well, okay, so, so sorry to, I know the suspense is probably killing you guys, but the next topic is gaming. Yeah. 
Everyone, a round of applause for gaming. All the gamers, yeah. r- gamers rise up. <laughs> yeah, gaming. gaming. Pog. 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 So, we play a lot of games, don't we, boys? Let's just be real. Pretty much every day. I play one game. <laughs> so, there are some people who play a variety of games, and then there are some people like Jeff that play one game and never, ever, ever deviate from that. No, there's a new one that comes out every year. Okay. <laughs> so, Jeff, just because there's a new 2K, and mind you, I, honestly, f- since like 2K17, I don't know what they've changed since then. There's so much. Other than the Jeff's roster. Slide, <laughs> you. Jeff's like. Now, the one thing they have to change, which is literally the roster. <laughs> so, I don't, I haven't played a 2K in a very long time. So, if you have to ask Jeff about everything they've changed, but. I say, I usually play him. They're still. They're still fun, but they're they are very similar. The um, VC management has gotten a lot better, though. Uh, just from what I've seen, we don't yeah. have to get into that. That is one observation yeah, that gaming. has gotten a lot better. <laughs> I no, said gaming wise, I'm... outside of Jeff's and his 2K addiction, we play a lot of FPS. I could games. stop whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> play a lot of FPS games. I mean, we've all probably played for a long time. I mean, I played with Nate growing up. We played. I remember and... playing like. Call of Duty on like the Wii. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were, we were really, you know, Wii bowling. God. Wii bowling. I, I played a lot of Paper Mario on the GameCube. Let me yep. tell you, oh, that was I a good didn't game. play Super Mario Sunshine video That's... games until I was a junior in high school. Though, I used to play Madden with my dad growing up. That's why I'm addicted oh, yeah. to football. Yeah, I started my first ever game that I played, at least that I remember, was. The first Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis. It wasn't Pokemans? It was not Pokemans. It was Sonic. And I will ever, forever, have, I, I never beat it either. Um, that game was extremely hard. <laughs> and, yeah. So my six year old brain could not. Was quite. it too fast for you? You gotta <laughs> go fast. Good one, Jeff. Thank you. Oh. Oh my goodness, Jeff. We'll make that one an obvious one. Let's go, go. for the count. count. But, um, but yeah, starting starting from our from a yeah, young young age, uh, we became that, addicted to video games. I'm saying that's turned into all of us play together pretty much every day. Yeah, we pretty much. I say they, we play. We all PC gamers now. Yeah, we just made the, made the transition. Play a the lot PC. Of First person shooter genres, competitive, me and Nate play competitive games. So, yeah, so one thing that, uh, it, so just to kind of give you an idea of what we would actually talk about, and this might not necessarily be a staple, um, it probably will be. None of these, okay, I'm not going to say that because I'm almost certain, um, I'm almost certain that. We'll talk about sports and and gaming. So I, I pretty much, you know what, Jeff, you're right. I'm a liar. So, <laughs> so I think what we want to do is kind of kind of bring into the forefront at least kind of like some of the competitive scene. Um, Brian and I love Overwatch. Uh, we have played a lot of Overwatch and enjoy Too the competitive of aspect of that. And that's kind of like, especially during the pandemic, is kind of like fed my competitive spirit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. So I, you know, I played recreational basketball in col- you know, college. I played, you know, I played on the on the quote unquote playground at, at my college as well. So that kind of was one way to feed kind of that aspect of my life. But uh, you know, we really kicked off Overwatch right. At the beginning of the pandemic, right? I remember. I remember. I mean, we had both played before before that, but never. We didn't really play together. No, yeah, we didn't really play. Actually, I didn't play very much through the beginning of my college career. I didn't even have a console or anything at my door. I was so focused on school um, until later. You would move to to Florida. I played. I played a lot more when I was in Florida. And so there was a lot of. A lot of moving around, a lot of life happening. I had mostly finished school by then. So, but I, the one thing I remember though, when we started playing, (laughs) when we started playing Overwatch was around the same time that Kobe Bryant passed away, you know, rest in peace. peace. Yeah. 
R.I.P. in peace. Kobe Bryant. But I'll never for, I'll never forget that because we had just started playing Overwatch and we were yeah. actually playing that day. And then um, I got a notification on my phone uh, about there was a plane crash or a helicopter crash um, that could potentially. And then there was reports that Kobe Bryant was in the plane and they didn't know that at that time they didn't know exactly what was going on other than the fact that you know they had to identify the bodies but potentially kobe had passed and so, you lost to maryland that day i do re- I, yes, that was a tragedy i do remember that there's that was just a bad it day. was a terrible day just a terrible day all around but i don't know how we got sidetracked on the kobe bryant's death from overwatch from overwatch <laughs> but uh, <laughs> But yeah, we like we I, like video games. I say that was about, but that around that time frame is when we started. When we started, really just get a perspective is when we really started grinding Overwatch, and I'm still plat. And then I joined so, later. Ooh, I'm not <laughs> Lucio, but, baby. No. Jeff plays one character just like he plays one game. That would be two games. Yeah, more I, guess, I guess that's that's true. That true. is two games. So so yeah, we'll we'll definitely. Um, talk, probably talk a lot about gaming, um, current events, news, competitive scenes. Overwatch Two is just around the corner. The yeah. beta is launching April twenty sixth, which was just good. announced today. We have PCs with this recording. It. Oh my and goodness! So, oh yeah, man. Good point. We may potentially in we the future create a second YouTube, channel. On that a second would be, channel, or even on our YouTube channel, just categorize it different or something. Yeah, we may, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. So we may actually do some content creation in the gaming domain. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Moving on. So this third one. So I I thought of this. This is something. Okay. Okay. So all of us here have had a relationship with music in, at in some capacity or another throughout our entire lives. Um, we all play an instrument. I play piano. Brian plays guitar. Jeff plays guitar. drums, plays a little bit of piano, plays a little bit of guitar. But, yeah, I mean, he plays in the Marching 100 as a percussionist. So definitely the drums or percussion instruments are his forte. So um, That's my loud. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yes. That should be enough to explain that you know music. Yes. Goodness gracious. You got him. Goodness mm, joke. Okay. Music joke. <laughs> good old good old music joke. But um yeah, so it's in some capacity, uh we've had music uh throughout our lives. And so I, I don't really know how we haven't really hashed that out, how we would talk about music. It would have to come up probably in a pretty specific thing specific. going on. To be fair, I think the best way to do it would be when we talk about movies and we talk about the, the film scores. scores because you know, that's I, something I all of us could get into a lot. That is a good, that's that's a good point, a good Jeff. Point. And that's one thing, in my opinion, that can, I wouldn't say make or break a movie, but it, um, a really good score or musical pieces in movies really really enhances the experience for me specifically. Oh yeah. It can really, I like uh, honestly the way that I feel mostly immersed and gets, you know, having a good score in a film allows my imagination to kind of go wild That's in true. a sense of, uh, of just like sometimes, you know, you can kind of, kind of daydream in that fact where you kind of put yourself in that shoe or implement that score into a situation, you know, like when you kind of do, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that does this. I doubt it. But kind of put you, you know, put put different scenarios and in, into different perspectives, um, and, and implement that music to fit that idea that you have. You know what I mean? So, like for an an example of that, would be like an epic score or something that's really high tempo, fast paced, action packed, and you implement that kind of song into like you know, like a skydiving experience or you put yourself in the shoes and sometimes that motivates me to do do certain things and uh kind of just you know, like i said it kind of takes that that piece or th- this is just music in general not necessarily scores and yeah. movies i'm kind of branching off what i was talking about but um uh that's kind of one of the reasons why you know just going off a little bit on a side tangent you know that's kind of the reasons why i pick piano is when I was in college, at least why I, I decided to start playing piano, 
Um, I actually started playing when I was when I was young, but I picked it back up recently uh, while I was in college. But the reason why I did that was because of classical pieces. And I, I started listening to classical music while I was studying. And I just was really grabbed by, you know, all these different pieces, you know, like Claire de Lune, um, you know, just you you can name there's so many classical pieces uh nice. that, that name, name another one uh you know you can do uh moonlight sonata okay good um, <laughs> i was hoping you go, any friends let's be just clear no 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 there's 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 quite you got a, few. a little stuck there and i started just, no, a little yeah, bit. <laughs> no i'm <laughs> i'm trying to think there's just you know you, you can do yeah there's a million leash. of them you, you, there's there's so many uh, i was just kind of stumbling over my thoughts sorry it's been it's actually been a bit since i played in, played but I, I i play a lot of those 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 pieces you know trufkowski um all those composers whatever but besides the point um uh like those pieces just got me like almost have like i have an emotional connection with those pieces and i kind of kind of helps me invigorates me and uh, allowed me to focus while studying as well as um just i i I don't even know what i'm saying right now i'm getting lost in thought at the moment but nice (laughs) lit (laughs) but moral story um music's been a big part and has really impacted my life and i'm sure you guys could say the same I mean that's what Jeff goes to school Kinda. for. I guess I guess it is literally what Jeff's occupation <clears throat> will be. So we'll be directly involving music. So just gonna shred all day long. <laughs> just not gonna say anything back. <laughs> all right, you go ahead and do on. that, Jeff. <laughs> so yeah, so those three main topics uh are probably what we'll we'll discuss on a weekly basis. We'll have mm. probably specifics. Um, whatever's going on in those whatever's worlds. going on in in those in those worlds and we'll just sit here or and, if and there's talk about something it. else going on in the world we might talk about that too yeah there's just so many possibilities just let let us know what you want to hear man we'll, i mean honestly we're always going to talk we're going to prioritize what we want to talk about you know uh that's going to be and because and, that, we'll that's be literally more, the point of the I podcast say we'll be more comfortable talking about and we'll be things. more comfortable talking about that but if but, you have, I mean, if they have something that they want to recommend, then... Then, yeah, we'll be happy to oblige. We'll any, talk about anything. Yeah, yeah like I say, we'll like probably we said, get we'll, there. We'll get there. But Okay, so moving on to kind of like from weekly topics and uh, just things that, uh, that we would do probably on an episode-per-episode episode basis. Uh, there's some other ideas that we had for kind of like limited time series um that would go over through a course of a month so like we'll we'll eventually we'll figure out an upload schedule and how we're going to uh operate this this thing our but, original plan was weekly but we had to figure out how logistical that is yeah as uh, of right now we are looking at bi-weekly just so everyone understands yeah. okay for so, right now so for right now plan on bi-weekly uploads and we'll probably just start off with those uh, talking about those three main topics that we just we just discussed we probably won't jump into series until later down the road when our schedules free up idea of what we're yeah and how we fully want to do them and then how we fully want to you know yeah run this thing so yep okay but from that there are like i said limited time series that we may or may not do, and we're going to go ahead and discuss our uh, thoughts and ideas for that. And one of these series that we may do um, at a limited time basis is called the Deer Series. And so my thought for this is basically to go back and interview uh, the people or the individuals that made us the men that we are today. So our podcast, essentially, um, based off the name, the Deer Series, will be our letter to them showing our appreciation for the things that they've done in our lives. So it'll be our letter. It'll So essentially the podcast will be our letter to them. Thus, you know, the, the deer. Um, so from there we would, so, we, so, so an example of this would be like dear teachers or dear 
fathers or dear mothers or something like along those lines where we would come and interview those individuals and kind of discuss how they made an impact on our life and just kind of talk to them, get to know their story, know their life and just, uh, you know, just sit down and and talk and then uh, show our appreciation for them. So uh, that was kind of one of my ideas and something that I had thought about ever since we started talking about potentially doing a podcast. So, so you guys get any other thoughts and input on that? I mean, yeah, I was going to say there's, I mean, there's a lot of people that you could bring into that as well that, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that have impacted all of us because we had a lot of the same people around us. Yeah. Directly and and indirectly. So uh, like Brian was said, there's some logistical uh, barriers behind that. Um, Inviting people, getting. Yeah. Because we don't have a fourth. I mean, we have a fourth mic, but we don't have a place to input the fourth mic. So. Yeah, we do. We can figure it out. We'll we'll figure something out, but um, just buy an entire what, new equipment. What is one more Y cable? Yeah, for real. <laughs> what is one? But we'll, we'll cross that there. bridge exactly. w- once we get there. That's just something. That's for, that's future us. That's something for future us to worry about. And so. future you to listen to. Exactly. Thank Lit. you, Brian. Lit. And then uh, there are two other series, um, and there are two. How do I want to phrase this? Uh, media uh, outlets that we're particularly fond of. That being uh, the work that Lucas Arts does. Good Everyone can agree on that. Star we'll Wars. So a series just talking about Star Wars, and I'm pretty sure uh, Eric and I, if Eric ever shows up, uh, can really talk a lot about Star Wars. So that would be something that I, we all can. I'm not going to say specifically, but. Um, Eric and I kind of you what know, you're saying nerd is you out and Eric a lot more are than, nerds than yes, me and that's Jeff. what I'm trying to say <laughs> without actually saying it. But you know, now now that's out of the <laughs> the cat's out of the bag, we might as well just be straight with the audience. So, so we have Star Wars, and then we're also, and I think you and Jeff are probably, probably on the true. Uh, more on the Marvel side. Eric's yeah. a nerd both ways. Uh, Eric is that's probably true. you know that man's messed up. Yeah, you know he went through some trauma. <laughs> 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 oh no! But so, so yeah, we can talk about Star Wars, Marvel, and I, I honestly think we would need to dedicate just a specific series to those, uh, those two, uh, those two uh, media. Oh, how, how, how do you phrase? I, I'm blanking right now. See franchises. Franchises. Thank you. I keep seeing media outlets, but I meant franchises. So. But uh, that, yeah, that's something that you guys can definitely give your input on. We would, we would, if you want to give your input uh, on series, I think that's free game. Yeah. Like that is something that we can just very much so. We can delineate from our, our you know, our weekly, our biweekly podcast, best, and best way just to do talk that about. Probably... We can even make that a series specifically, true. right? Where we just talk yeah. about what you guys want to hear about. So that's true. At least give so that best a try. way I probably do that is YouTube. When we upload the video, YouTube, yep. probably the comment section, I would imagine. Yep, I would say so. Or, of course... Social uh, media. Yeah, our our email will be around as well. It's not... We'll be monitoring that. It's not posted yet, though, right? No, not yet, but it will be. So, so yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely want to hear from you guys about uh, potential topics that we can put in the series category. So... And put topics that we can... That maybe not are in the series category as well. I mean, no, that's it, true. It, yeah. Anything is free game. Anything is free game. So um, just let us know your thoughts. Make requests and, and give us feedback. Tell us what we're doing, what we could do better. Yep, exactly. And so hopefully um, hopefully we improve kind of just how the conversations flow, the few pauses and stutters. We'll hopefully grow and get better at that. So this is our first time, by the way. Thanks. Um, so we're learning, growing. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get better as time goes on. So, but, um, like we said, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for this week. Look for us bi-weekly. Right? Yeah. Look for, for us. For now, yeah. at least. For unless, now, we. Unless we get more storage space on our upload schedule. <laughs> yeah. We... So, so weekly, bi-weekly, just, we'll probably, uh, put out a notice um, beforehand, before we yeah. upload, we have a let Twitter. you guys know. We'll, we'll have a Twitter. Lost in Thought Pod, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I think, Brian, you want to go ahead and shout out our Lost in Thought media? Pod is the Twitter. 
it's just a Lost in Thought YouTube channel. We'll have to post a link to it. We don't get our... I mean, we'll have to build up a following before we get a direct right. link. Yeah. And then... Other than that, I mean, we'll be on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get your videos at yeah. Lost in Thought. It'll be everywhere. It should be. It, it, it'll be everywhere. And That's then, right, folks. I say other than that, we don't have an Instagram yet, but it'll probably be the same as the Twitter. Yeah. It's just not fully finished yet. It'll be uploaded by the time this is done, though. Sweet. All right. So, yeah. So, look look for us uh, on those platforms. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And then Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Yep. yep. And that anything else it. in between. But with that being said, I want to thank everyone who is listening. And there may be, like I said, may, may only be our mothers at this point. But anyone who is listening, who, anyone who has found us, thank you for listening. Uh, we appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your day to listen to us. So, yeah. We'll see you next week or two weeks from now, whatever. We'll, we'll let you know whenever, we'll whenever that out. happens. We just look for us. It for sure, but it's probably two weeks. Yeah, and this is just basically entails who we are as people. So. <laughs> yeah, we All right. Later, guys. Bye. Bye.